One of the fastest ways to learn a new language is to speak it. But it's not always easy finding someone to practice with you. Our next guest may be able to help. Sean Egan and Sarah Sinat are with the Sioux Falls Spanish Club. They could be the accountability partners you're looking for to help your Spanish speaking skills. Welcome. Thank you. So, Sarah, is it ever too late to learn a second language? No, it's definitely never too late to learn a second language. People have said for a long time that it's easier to learn a language when you're younger, but more and more studies are finding that that's not as true as we thought it could be. Um, and really what you need is just the practice. You need the time to put in and you need the conversation to help you. So what is your background with Spanish speaking? Did you start and go through college? Yeah, I started learning Spanish as a freshman in high school, and I took that all the way through college, and now I'm teaching Spanish at the University of Sioux Falls. And, Sean, your story is a little bit different. Tell me how you got involved with Spanish. Uh, yeah, um, I do not have as much experience with Spanish. I studied Spanish in high school for three years, and then after high school, didn't really do anything with it. Um, that was many years ago, and uh, about two years ago now, I decided to pick it up and start studying it again. Why did you decide to do that? Uh, it's just been a, a, a personal goal of mine to learn a second language and to be able to speak it um, fluently. How did you start learning it? Was this something you did on your own? Yeah, I originally started studying on my own. There's a lot of resources online that you can find to help you learn a second language. Um, the one I chose is called Babbel, but there are several. Um, Duolingo, there are all kinds of podcasts out there. Um, so I started studying, and then I found out about the Spanish Club, and decided that that would be a great would be a great way to um, to practice Spanish and to continue to learn. So Sarah, tell me a little bit more about the Spanish Club and how this helps people. The Spanish Club is perfect because uh, even though everybody has a little different personal reason why they want to use a language, the basic reason is always the same: that you want to communicate with other people. And the only way that you can get good at communicating with other people is by communicating with other people. And so the Spanish Club really gives a great outlet for that. There's people of all different levels, so you can be getting help from somebody while you're helping somebody else. It's a fun atmosphere, and uh, people really feel comfortable having conversations there. So if we're going to come to the, Spanish, to the Spanish club and we maybe don't know a ton, mm -hmm. how does this help us with verbiage? Because I remember in high school, it's easier to learn the words, but when you're trying to form sentences, that's where it gets tricky. Yeah, and that's the thing. And the only way you can get good at doing that is by doing it. And so if you have people to speak with that are really supportive of you and will and have the patience to let you get that sentence out and help you get that sentence out if you need it, then, then that's going to kind of turn a switch in your brain and help you do that better on your own. What's like the diversity like in this group for the Spanish club? Uh, we have um, the whole range of, of people. Uh, we have, sometimes we have parents that bring their kids that are studying in school, uh, all the way to people who are retired and are just now learning a, uh, second language for the first time. So um, the group's different every time. I mean, there are people who come consistently, but you'll always find a different mix of people. Um, and it's, uh, it's just all across the board as far as who comes and participates. How has being a part of the Spanish Club personally helped you? Uh, it's the most helpful thing that I've done uh, in regards to learning a second language. I have not learned um, more from anything else than I have from coming to Spanish Club. It's the most important thing that I've done for my own personal uh, development with the language. Where are some areas in the community that you've been able to practice your Spanish speaking skills? Uh, you know, um, at the Spanish Club, of course, but there are a lot of uh, members of our community that speak Spanish. Um, so. Uh, once you start learning Spanish, um, a lot of opportunities open up that you maybe wouldn't even have noticed before. Uh, just because we have such a large uh, membership in the community of, of Spanish-speaking people. And Sarah, for others that are in the Spanish club, what are some of the motivations for people that joined this club? 
Well, I think a lot of people that join the club have been interested in learning Spanish to use it in their job or to travel or probably both. <laughs> um, and those are a lot of the general motivations that, that people have for learning a language anyway. And so uh, the club can help you do that, as uh, Sean said. You make connections in the club, so not only are you learning a language to further what you can do in your career, but also you're making those connections as well. So walk me through what a typical meeting for the Spanish club looks like. Is it all Spanish from the moment you walk in to the moment you leave? Uh, I think it's a little bit different depending on the mix of people that are there. Most It's probably, I'd say, 98% speaking Spanish, and then occasionally somebody will say, well, how do you say this word, and then you'll help them out with that a little bit. But otherwise, yeah, we're speaking Spanish. If you're not feeling ready to jump in and speak all Spanish, a lot of people will just sit there and listen for a while, and that's, that's great, too. You need that to learn the language. And Sarah, is it strictly conversation, or are there other activities involved to practice the Spanish-speaking skills. Yeah, sometimes we play games, uh, and that's really helpful because it just takes everybody's filters down a little bit and makes them more more comfortable. So, uh, we've played different games where you have to use the language, maybe some headbands type of games or some rolling dice games or guessing games where you're using more simple vocabulary and everybody can join in. Let's go over the details for when the Spanish club meets so mm -hmm. that if anyone is interested in getting involved, they can attend. So it's on Saturdays at 2 p.m., and that's every single Saturday? Yes. All right. And so how can someone get involved? Do they just show up, or do they have to RSVP somewhere? Uh, all you need to do is come. Okay. Thanks. All right. Well, thank you both so much for coming in today. Thank you. Thank you.